Okay, I'm going to show now is how do you match um, two plugins here the Kanban board plugin into the another plugin in this case is the Ninja plugin. But first, let me clear off my blank plugin. Revert. So I'm going to start over again. This is how you clean up your blank plugin of the show and here we do it deleting so back to the topic one way well first thing is you export out the jar or the plugin that you want to remove and let it be imported so just check this export the source file so that during debug you will be easy and give a location in this case it's in the ninja library and just finish off so you already exist so you just override it in this case i already done it i'm not going to do it again so it will appear here and what i do is in the manifest file under runtime you just make a new or add okay in this case it's been add this one if not <clears throat> if not you just um, add this way so this came from all the source code and Java classes from that plugin and then another thing is you have to get the services, this tree form services, which declare is uh, internal model form and factory has to be copied and transferred over here. Okay? And then you have to look at its manifest file. You look at its dependency, it's an extra dependency, the ZK form, because it's dealing with its own panel ZK UI cell control for the Kanban board so you copy all of this and the easy way to do that is to take it from here and here the export package and then come to the ninja and do the same thing all right the export oh I didn't do the it seems the export package is not needed it's the import that should be it. Save it. And then the metadata, the two packs. I rename them the series of two and trees and copy over here. After my own ninja plug uh, metadata, two packs, I added the common uh, two pack. So in this case, I can do away with this. I can close it or delete it away. I freed myself from this dependent job. Of course, that means that whatever changes here, I have to bring them over manually. You will increase maintenance, but for the convenience of the user, now they only have to deal with one larger plugin. Still small, common job, common board is a small application, but for the user, they need not have the I've closed it off so it's no longer there. You just deal with one single job. Okay, let's test it if it's true. So no common job dependency, everything is imported into the ninja. And I'm starting it up, give it a minute. Once it starts up, we shall um, try and run it again so this is a note I put here you no longer need the common plugin that's imported its jar is form XMLs and two packs a bit about the form XMLs um, this is important because the customized form has its own factory if you click here notice that it goes to the class resource from inside the common jar because it's no longer dependent on that 
I do not have on my ninja now dependency of the Kanban board it was removed okay so now you see it packing in everything there's a lot with the ninja and also the Kanban board uh, models as you notice uh, we use an incremental packing here incremental packing is that you need not uh, override your order two packs you just the next one will come as 3.1.2 so that is backward compatible for users they merely reinstall the plugin and it will just update with the latest two pack instead of redoing everything and overriding or having conflict with your previous work so okay when it's up uh, we'll demonstrate very quickly the command board in action and uh, do some more stuff what is really fantastic with the command board by Diago Ruiz it's really very impressive now one thing more is that besides the two pack you can also use traditional migration scripts to transfer over changes and using the two pack is a bit brittle um, it's not as native as the SQL migration scripts because two packs is dependent on the two pack code right here at Pipo and it's notorious in the past it was broken I believe at least twice from the days of Robert Klein right up to the present architect Lo Heng Singh which he improved it but inevitably it broke backward but today it's quite stable but then if you want to be more safer you can turn on the lock migration script and have it running with the script we are still waiting for the application to come up it's any second now yes it's here so we log in it's a fresh IDMP instance 4.1 together with um, the ninja module creator and a command board incorporated into it let's get going login system and as you're familiar with my ninja plugin it really will make everything within a matter of seconds as long as you have predefined your code so now this is a repeat of the previous you may stop here if you have been following this so see both have been imported without using the old uh, the dependency on the Kanban all from within the ninja and uh, let's quickly redo very quickly so we require this too get the rest and here the board to do come on board um, you should have the name otherwise you will force the name don't worry so just run give it about 30 seconds you create um, two models together with all these uh, properties with one look up the bit ID dynamically okay it's done and uh, just call back this again reactivate for come on board like I said you must have the name there if you do not have it there it's fine because I force a name in a code so that the user need not is a uh, optimistic and you need not worry about that so you should be done and just refresh the blank plugin everything is there and um, let's see what's the plugin name number 170 blank plugin just refresh or in this case start 170 it started so the command bot should be working because data is injected into it and you can now go in and use it easily I want to show you some extra cool things you can do with the common configuration but let me uh, <coughs> let the common bot come up this is always taking time 
Let's figure out a way to cut this out. Well then, this is already the best and fastest software in the world for ERP. So, let's uh, call the command board up. See that it's working. But I want to show you how will you rearrange all this. Very easy. Go to the command board configuration first. I want to delete a few unnecessary ones. Invalid and uh, <coughs> reverse. I don't want this to. And <coughs> awaiting confirmation, waiting payment, unknown. It's not necessary. You can have them. These are all valid status in the code. And now looking at the this is a cool board because you can drag them around. Right? Drafted in progress. Approve. Complete the board. That sounds good. So um, as you say, this is the right way to move in progress. Move to approve. Some are in progress, not approve. Approve. Not valid. Yeah, let's move back to in progress. And approve. Some are completed. Okay. And you cannot. Can you close them? No. Can you close them? No. Move direct to complete. Yes. Then you can void if any of you have voided. Can you move them back to draft? No. So all these rules are here in the code generated automatically during the command board. Uh, and you must be online to have this code being um, generated because it's fetched from my site uh, as a sample and then parsed to be the model code implementing dog action. Okay then. That's it from me here and enjoy the new Ninja plugin that now has merged completely uh, the common board and you need not worry and handle dependency of the common board. Bye bye.